but most of all, there is the constant threat of death itself. I mean, death looks pretty epic here. At any moment, the whole game we have invested in can be mercilessly ripped away from That means you have to enjoy it more! That means that you have to kill- That means that you have to find reasons to be happy more, not less, you idiot! You goddamn moron! Yes, that means every second counts! From us. In the Mahabharata, Yudhisthira is asked what he believes is the greatest wonder. He replies that the most amazing thing is that even though every day we see countless living beings dying, we still act and think as if we will live forever. Nobody acts and thinks like... Realizing the temporary nature of life is not meant to depress us. No, you meant to... You're, you're, no, that, that is not depressing us. You're depressing us. Hinduism is depressing us. But to awaken us to a higher sense of purpose and grant more clarity in the way we live. I agree. Make sure you try to do that without Hinduism. You will have better luck at achieving that. When we fully see how everything perishes, inevitably we will yearn to know that which lies beyond it. Central to There's nothing beyond life. You will achieve... Oh, look at this. Reincarnation. Eh. Uh, look at this. Reincarnation. This is one of the most harmful ideas on the whole planet. Hinduism is karma and reincarnation. Unfortunately, many use this concept to justify a relaxed approach to spiritual progress. They rest on the idea that there will always be another chance to find the truth. So now is the time to take it easy and enjoy. But as Krishna says in the 8th chapter of the Gita. <laughs> I wish I could do, guys, I wish I could do a Dr. Zakir Naik impression. It would be so fitting here. I can't do impressions. If I could, he says, Krishna says in the 8th chapter of the Gita, you should do a Zakir Naik impression of saying, I don't know, Krishna says in chapter <laughs> eight of the Gita. You know, you know what I'm referring to. You, know, you, get, you guys are imagining that in your head already, right? You know what I'm referring to. Gita, we have been helplessly caught in a cosmic rat race. Life after life, we have become deluded by this world and forgotten who we are. Understanding how we've been perpetually enslaved by our desires should urge us to finally seek a way out. Many might argue that to desire... Look at this. All the, all the people that are supposed to be... Yeah. Guys, imagine... Imagine if I was watching like an alt-right video and all the arrogant people and all the people that are meant to have the wrong views were like black or something, right? You would be like, I don't know what's happening here. Hmm. Hmm. That's a bit suspect. So, I don't know, it's like the video when you see all the people that are, you know, enlightened and not. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe maybe I'm looking into this. But the evil, the bad people and the wrong people seem to all be white men. I don't know. The truth in God, we need some kind of a sign or experience to motivate us. But God is not cheap and divine revelation does not appear just to satisfy mere curiosity. God is not cheap. You have to take him to an expensive dinner, maybe buy him some jewelry, surprise him with some flowers. I don't know. What I mean. When can I enter God? When can I enter God? God is not cheap. Hmm. Maybe on the, so not probably not on the third date curiosity as ramakrishna put it like a drowning man pants hard for breath so must one's heart yearn for the lord before one can find him amongst hindus then wait what hold on by mere curiosity as ramakrishna put it like a drowning man pants hard for breath so must one's heart yearn for the Lord before one can find him. I mean, I wouldn't take advice from this guy. Look at it. I don't want to end up like him. Amongst Hindus, there needs to be a greater shift from using God as... 
Um... Someone who might make us survive and thrive in the world to someone who is the centerpiece that gives meaning to this world. Meaning to this world. Oh my God. Whether we worship Krishna, Shiva or Durga. That's not... Okay, that's not fair. That is so not fair to Shiva. Look at this. When you're showing Krishna, you're showing all of Krishna. When you're showing Shiva, we worship Krishna, Shiva. Why are you only showing his penis? Why are you only showing Shiva's penis? This is so unfair. Why are you doing Shiva dirty like this? Imagine if like somebody's just like showing like different atheist activists, right? Like Dan Barker, Sarah Hader. Yasmin Muhammad, Abdullah Samir. And then I went to my picture, and instead of a headshot, there was a picture of my penis. <laughs> I'm like, why would you do this? Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? Shiva should be upset. Katie is saying that's the most popular dildo model in India. Is it really? You're joking. No, it's not. I don't believe that. Guys, for people who don't know big dick energy, for people, yeah, this is Shiva Lingam. People think like, I don't know if people, some people might hear might be new. This is genuinely Shiva's, like, we're not making this up. This is Shiva's penis. Yes. Like, we're not like exaggerating. Like, we're not like, yeah, th like, look it up. Like, this is not an exaggeration of, that's how ridiculous, that's how ridiculous Hinduism is. This is, they worship their God's penis and they, they, they pour milk on it and stuff like that to represent the cum. Yes, yeah, see the decoration of the penis. <laughs> Dali is gross. Dali is gross. That. Um, yeah, Katie's saying. I mean, almost every Hindu household has this, has this thing. I mean, guys, I don't know if is. I don't know what I can say. What can I give away? Imagine what Shiva is dealing with. If ever, how many people around India are touching Shiva's penis nonstop? I bet you, like, you might feel, you might think that's like fun. You might think like Shiva is somewhere is just like constantly having orgasms because of all the people in India that are constantly rubbing his penis. But I don't know, man. I think at some point you're gonna be like the. Guys, stop it. This is get too much. Please stop. <laughs> this is so abusive. Give it a rest. I don't know. Or Durga. When Durga. Yeah, Durga. Ma. We should do something with Durga and her lion. Whether we believe God has a form or not, whether we prefer to worship or meditate, we must develop a sincere desire to imagine that think imagine trying to convince to the whole world that your religion <laughs> is the source of wisdom and has a secret to the universe while as part of your worship you rub your god's penis imagine <laughs> imagine imagine having this many people actually taking your religion seriously while this is part of your religion how is this even happening <laughs> uh, oh yeah i know that's not just a dick that's a dick inside of a gym yeah guys the lower part of this whole shiva lingam thing hold on where is it bring it back where is that the lower part there's the vagina whether so, we worship so, krishna shiva or yeah oh oh my god that was so fast worship krishna shiva so why couldn't you just put a statue of shiva this lower part is supposed to be whose vagina is that i forgot which goddess was it was it durgama but this isn't a goddess's uh, vagina here this lower part so this is basically showing intercourse Which god was which god which goddess is vagina is this? Was it Durgama? I think it was Durgama. No, it was oh yeah, no, you're right. It was Parvati. 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 Yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. Parvati, Parvati. Okay, okay. 
I think I think I, if I remember the story correctly, Shiva's penis was like caught on like f dropped on Earth, and it was like burning everything, the whole world to the ground. And the only way to make sure it doesn't burn everything was to put it in Parv uh, Parvati's vagina to to be able to withhold all that energy. Shiva or Durga. Whether we believe God has a form or not, whether we prefer to worship or meditate, we must develop a sincere desire to grow and... Oh, Katie's saying, people have Shiva's dick instead of his whole uh, state, you mean statue? For the, for the most part, Shiva is depicted in either art or as a dick. Uh, Parvati, am I saying that right? Is the base from form of Durga. Durga is like super Saiyan. <laughs> okay, okay. So I was technically right then. It was it was Durga. Ma. Transcend. As a global Sangha, we have to reach an understanding that <laughs> look at this idiot. He's like Armin, interview with Kushal Mehta if you are not afraid. You moron, I already have. Even identifying as a Hindu carries a responsibility. It is not about merely following Indian customs. Look, he's looking at this and like, this is not good. This is not good. Happy Diwali, guys. Look at these people. Look at these people having doing shallow Hindu tradition instead of being in touch with spirituality. This is what, look at them. This, this is what you want to tell us is bad. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Okay, what the hell is happening here? I, I like... What is happening here? Oof. Yeah, this is this is this that this looks like a lot of fun. Customs and celebrating festivals, but rather about one who has imbibed the wisdom of our rishis and is Rishi earnestly seeking to follow in. Look at this, guys. Look at this guy. He's saying that this is better than this. I mean, you guys be the judge. He's like, this is no good. We should want this. Look at, again, look. This is bad. This is good. Hmm. I, I, I think I like this one a lot more. This guy is wasting his time. Look at this. This is a waste of precious minutes being wasted on nothing. Nothing. Go, dude, go join these other Hindu people and go have some fun. Look at them having fun. You're wasting your time. You goddamn idiot. You're wasting your time. What is put that put that crap with put that thing on the ground? And go join these other people and have some fun. Especially look at look at her. Look at her. She's waiting for somebody to come have fun with her. Like she's asked, come on, look at that. Can, are you leaving her alone? How can you leave her alone? She's asking you to come and join her. And you're just wasting your life counting whatever that is. It is not about merely following Indian customs and celebrating festivals, but rather about one who has imbibed the wisdom of our rishis and is earnestly seeking to follow in their footsteps. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you get a free copy uh, why there's not, where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. We're doing promotion. You get a free, it's not even promotion, it's free. Okay, so if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy of Why There's No God. Ah, come on, like I'm handing it out for free. Okay, it's a bestseller on Amazon and you get it for free. So subscribe to our newsletter and you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you. Link in the description.